<laughs> Hop in. We've got some new makeup. We've got some blush. We love blush. We love blush, right? Yeah. So, hey everyone. I've bought so much makeup recently and I just need to try it out for you guys. Let you know my thoughts. Some of this I have already tried on TikTok. I've also mentioned some of my favorites in here as well. Some of my favorite skincare brands. Cause I know someone has asked for a dedicated skincare video. Haven't done it yet. We also got some newbies as well. This is so pretty. This is the new Made by Mitchell comic case. We've got ALF, Revolution. These Maybelline new blush. Rimmel, we've got some MAC products in here. The new Maybelline. Fire I won't mascara it. Have I tried this on YouTube yet? I, I don't even know. It's pretty. I literally cannot go without this ordinary pink syrup. These are all the makeup products I'll be trying today. So yeah. I'm gonna put this headband on instead because it just grips the hair away. I'm gonna talk about skincare first. So these are the skincare bits that I've been really enjoying in my routine. I'm not gonna put it on now because I've already done my skincare for today, but I'll tell you what I've used. This serum I've literally been using all month. I've been loving it. This is the Ordinary Pink Serum. The name is Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. And yeah, it's literally pink and I've just wasted a bit. That is not good. We'll just put a bit on there. If you've got stripped skin, if you've ever done it with the skincare, this is amazing for it. It just, like it does, it just protects your skin barrier. If you've ever done it with the active ingredients, especially retinol, this will save it. My skin feels so soft when using this. I feel like my skin has appeared more brighter. I honestly think it's down to this. And then after that, I go in with some Made by Mitchell products. I consistently use these every single day over anything else. So this is the Keen Screen Moisturizer. It's got such a nice consistency and it really does keep your skin glowy hydrating as well the eye fly sky high eye cream this is amazing especially eye prep before you put your under eye concealer on just makes your under eye look more awake it just makes it look more healthy and more hydrated and then spf this is always my go-to for the summer this is the carbon theory spf 50 plus this is like nearly all gone now i've got a backup i must have gone through five bottles of these now the thing with this is you just gotta lay it absorb into your skin if you pop it absorb it into your skin you won't get that white cast and then for my lip care i'm gonna put us on now now, this is the Laneige Gummy Bear Lip Balm. I've not tried the pot version. I've gone straight for this. I really like it. And loads of people saying they prefer this version over the pot version. So it smells very sweety. It just leaves your lips super, super smooth. This is the Glow Hub. I don't even know what it's called. Face Frosted. It's in the shade Glaze. I'm just going to use it as part of my makeup prep. This leaves your skin so hydrated. But yeah, it just leaves your skin so glowy. Obviously, it's very enhanced at a minute with lights in front of me. I have got a new primer. This is the Made by Mitchell Pore Paste Primer. I haven't used this in a while, but I'll just use this in my T-zone just so it's extra mattified. But yeah, this just really blurs the skin as it should do. It is a silicone-based primer, but it's not like greasy i don't think i feel like it's just very soft and silky definitely has a blurring effect i cannot go without this this is the rimmel multitasker better than filters face serum it's like a skin tint primer it's very fluid i much prefer this over my maybelline four and one and elf halo glow something about this i much prefer i prefer the tone of it so i'm just gonna put this everywhere this is what i normally do i've got a bruiser by the way i did go for a skin booster but yeah i've got this in the shade fair light this gives such a beautiful radiant of glow to the skin this is perfect for summer i've even worn this product on its own with no foundation on top of it this just provides enough for a no makeup makeup day this is like my lazy lazy makeup i can't remember the last time i actually wore an actual foundation i don't know which skin tint to go into but i've got i'm gonna mention two anyway this is the revolution skin blur soft focus skin tint i really like this i've got it in the shade soft beige but i think i might go with the new made by mitchell truth tint because i don't think i've showed this on my channel yet I'm pretty sure i've showed that it does have a bowl inside so you do have to proper shake it that way all the products inside can be mixed together i'm also going to mix it in with the new elf bronzing drops this is in the shade rose gold this is very liquidy this truth tint i don't know how much to use of this elf i think i'm just going to go like that and then go with the truth tint this truth tint is so nice though. it's like a veil of coverage for your skin if you're into your skin tints I do definitely recommend this one. It just blends so nice into the skin. It doesn't like cakey or anything. I have a lot of favorite concealers, but this is one of them, which I haven't used in a while on my channel. It's the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Eye Concealer. I've got it in the shade Porcelain. And this is such a nice lightweight concealer. Because this concealer is so light, I'm gonna go and blend it in with a brush. I like how buildable it is as well. This is also new in my collection. This is the Powder Puff 
powder pillow. I can't remember what it's called. It's by Made by Mitchell again. I absolutely love this pattern in my under eye concealer. Powder. It's just been a really nice tool in my makeup routine. This is the Made by Mitchell Comet case. I've been really liking this. This is such an easy, if you want a bronzy highlighter. This is called Copper Cool. So I've been using this a lot. And I feel like it's just the right... I just feel like it's the right amount of pigment. It just blends so easy. You can also get these in the blush light doe foot formula, but I think this blends so much better. Like, look how nice blends in like butter. It's so easy. And I just mix what I can in. You can use this on your eyes as well. It is a bit tacky though, so I am gonna go with powder a bit later. However, there is a new blush to try. I have this e.l.f. monochromatic multi stick. So you can use this on your lips, your cheeks, maybe in your crease as well, but I'm just gonna use it as a blush today. This is the shade Glimmering Garver. Very summery. I actually haven't tested this yet, so this is first proper first impression. That blends in so nicely. I really like that, that is so pretty. It looks so dewy. I don't have a new powder, so I'm just gonna go in the one that I've been using on a daily. This is the Revolution Lace, and I'm gonna use it with that powder pillow. I just put the powder in the palm of my hand, and then I just get the powder pillow, and just go in like that. I've been really liking how this looks. I always feel like once you put powder on, it just looks 10 times better. I'm gonna contour my nose a bit. This is the She Glam Nose Contour. It's in the shade Buff. Uh, I just like to go on the edges. I just typically blend it with my finger as much as I can. This is the Maybelline Sunkisser Blush in the shade City Sizzle. I've tried this a couple of times out already on my TikTok and I really do like it. So with this, I have tried it with the doe foot before and I didn't really like it. I thought it was quite patchy. What I like to do, I just like to take a bit on my brush, blend a lot off it on my hand and just go in that way. Hopefully this can apply okay on powder. Okay, this is re-intensify the blush and that's what I need. So yeah, that's so nice. Because I feel like sometimes powder just takes away the blush most of the time. I do understand the blush blindness though. That is definitely a thing. I really like these Sunkisser blushes. You can get them in bronzer shades as well. I like the Summer in the City as a bronzer. They're really easy to blend. I actually don't know if I've showed this on my channel yet. This is the Lottie London Soft Grunge. I've been using this quite a few times. What I have been doing recently, I haven't really been using eyeshadow concealer because sometimes I feel like it can just look really dry on me. But yeah, that's what I haven't really been doing. I'm gonna go into this beige first. I think I'm just gonna do a wing today. Just a soft wing. I'm gonna go with this shade here at the bottom. I'm just gonna take a wing brush and I'm just gonna create a soft wing. I wish this palette had like a, a bronzy shade, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I've decided to go back into the comic case. I'm actually gonna try this on the eyes. So, Penny from Heaven or Champagne Spray. Let me just swatch them both. Ooh. I think I might go with the champagne one. Let's try that. So I'm just gonna use it. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. It is very sticky, so I don't think this would work with, with much bases, I don't think, because it might take away the eyeshadow base. So maybe use this on its own or just like a really light shade underneath. It might crease as well, just cause how sticky it is. But I think this is just something I've got to figure out as I test it more, but it is very, very pretty and subtle. Oh, I'm gonna put Ice Ice BB in the inner corner. I actually have the Ice Ice BB in a doe foot formula. I'm gonna say doe foot, like, oh, that blends so much better than the other one. The other one was like patchy in the inner corner, but I much prefer this one. New Maybelline mascara, let's give it another go. I have tried it once on my TikTok. I actually do like it. I think I do prefer the sky high though. I feel like this is good at volumizing. Lipsticks. So this is new in my collection. This is this is actually gifted from What's Up Beauty. It's in it's their new lipsticks. I've got it in the shade Eye of RA. It is a matte lipstick, so I don't know how I feel about that. But the detail on that though, I'm gonna go with Melt Perfectionist lip liner. Got it in shade Cinnamon. I'm not massive on lip liners anymore. Does this colour suit me? I can't decide. I don't know if it's because I got product underneath. I had the Laneige lip balm underneath, but I would say that's matte. I'm gonna try a different shade. I've got another one here. I've got this in shade Anchor. Oh, I might prefer this one. And I've wiped the Laneige off as well, so. This feels more like a matte. I, I, I think it must have been the Laneige underneath making it more hydrating, but I think I prefer this color. I think it just goes nicely with the blush. Yeah, I think 
the lip balm underneath altered the formula on the other one but I much prefer this colour on me anyway. I don't really wear a lot of matte lipsticks but this one I'm definitely enjoying. I'm just gonna add another layer of mascara. I've had some new brow products. So I'm on a brow journey at the minute. I'm trying to grow them out. I've brought some brow serum. So yeah, my brows are not looking its best at the minute, but to keep me going, I've brought some new MAC brow products, which I've been really enjoying. I do also wanna mention the She Glam brow products that I brought a couple of months ago now. And I've literally used up now. I can't get anything else. That was actually a good product. I really liked that. So that is now in my empties. This from MAC, I really like this. This is in the shade Stylized. It's a one millimeter tip brow pencil. So it's ultra fine and thin. Look how thin it is. Hopefully I can get them to grow thicker. But yeah, I really like this brow pencil. It's super fine. It's just easy to work with, especially if you've got like hardly any brows going on. This is new from MAC. This is the Pro Locked Brow Gel. It's just clear and... I've been really liking this look because it actually keeps my brows in place all day. So yeah, I feel like these are going to be repurchases of mine when I'm done with them. This mascara is okay, but I think I've just come to terms that like it's just too thick for my eyelashes. It's literally weighing my eyelashes down. It's why I much prefer the Sky High because you don't get a lot of product. I feel like because my eyelashes weigh down anyway, so if I have any thick product like this, it's just going to keep them flat. So may work for you though. However, for me, it's just not my favourite from them. I think I'm done. That was like the quickest makeup I've ever done. I'm really liking this lipstick. Um, yeah, this lipstick, I love it because even though it's a matte, it doesn't feel like a matte on the lips, it feels so lightweight and it's not really sinking into my lip lines as much as well, which I absolutely love. It's why I don't wear matte lipsticks a lot because most lip matte lipsticks just look crusty on me and I'm prone to chat lips, but so far, how this is settled now, I really, really like it and it's going into my favorites. I've actually been using the bronzers a lot more than the blushes. Sometimes I just get a brush and just use them all and just go in like that. I just really think this is so easy to blend. I think this is much easier to use than his other formula blush lights whatever you call it i already know i like this one but this this was such an easy blend like i really like this i love the color of it i very much liked everything in this video except for the mascara i think i actually pra praised this on my tiktok but now i'm using it a lot more just like through my day to day i'm just not feeling it i don't know it's not lifting them as much as the sky high did and also i want to mention these as well i do like this as well okay there's a lot of products in here i really do like i'd love to know if you've got on with any of these products i've tried out today what are your thoughts and opinions let me know in the comments well yeah thank you so much for watching today's video i'm really loving this makeup look and i'm gonna wear it all day i'm really happy with it that lipstick has saved it but yeah that pretty much sums up my video today i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna go now i hope you have a lovely day now every time watch this and i shall see you in the next one Bye.